Hey everyone, in today's video we are diving into Playwright code generation feature, a powerful tool that generates code snippets for browser automation, saving us time and effort. So let's get started. For those of you who want to find out more about this library, I recently wrote an article that you can find in the description below. Long story short, Playwright is an open source cross-browser testing library developed by Microsoft that enables reliable end-to-end -end web testing and allows us to write automated tests in multiple programming languages. It comes with lots of features. It can be installed from CLI using NPM or directly from VS Code. Continuing with the tutorial, there are multiple approaches to use this feature. One of them implies using the Playwright test extension in VS Code. I already created a step-by-step -step tutorial about Playwright test extension in VS Code and how to install it, so if you didn't have the chance to look into it, feel free to find the link in the description below. Using the VS Code approach, we can simply create an empty folder and open it in VS Code as I already did. The second step is to install the Playwright extension. Go to Extensions, type Playwright, test and click Install. The extension will be displayed in the VS Code menu here. The third step implies installing Playwright or using an existing Playwright project. In this demo, because I created an empty folder, I will be installing Playwright using VS Code. Go to View, Command Palette, type Install Playwright, hit Enter, choose the desired browsers that you want to use in the test execution and click OK. VS Code is installing Playwright in our folder. It will also generate the entire folder structure for us. Click the extension and it will display the tests folder that contains the default test file example and its test scenarios. Here we can run each of them by clicking the play button accordingly in headed or headless browser. The test is running and that's it the test passed. For the code generation feature, click record new and Playwright will generate a new test file with an empty test scenario awaiting for our manual input. It will also open up a browser where we can access the application and manually perform the desired test scenario.
under the hood Playwright recorded each step that we made in the browser resulting a beautiful test ready to be executed. Simple, isn't it? Wait, there is more than that. We have the ability to record from a specific point in our existing test if we move the cursor where we want to record more actions and then simply click the recorded cursor button. For example, I am going to duplicate this test in order to to have a scenario that tries to insert a wrong password. I'm going to delete the last two test steps and save the file. The new test will be displayed in the extension tab here. Please note that if our browser is not already open, then we have to first run the test with show browser checked, then click the record at cursor button. So in my case, I will run the test with show browser checked. Ok, now I'm positioning the cursor and click record at cursor. Insert an invalid password and click submit. That's it. As you can see, it inserted an invalid password and recorded my steps. I am running the test file that includes both login tests to see their execution. Great, they passed. Analyzing the recorded tests, I would say that they look reliable because Playwright used attributes like placeholders and name instead of long inefficient CSS selectors. The second approach would be using the CLI for uh, Playwright code generation. So in our case, I opened a git bash in the current project and I will be typing the following command npx playwright code gen the flow is pretty much the same it will open up a browser waiting for our manual inputs This time, a Playwright inspector comes in the picture, generating the code for us in real time. You have the option to keep recording, you have the option to copy the generated code, and also to target the programming language that you want to use.
that's awesome isn't it and from this point you can simply copy the code and paste it in your project test files the code generation command also comes with lots of features for example you can emulate different viewports you can emulate devices color schemes and also geolocations language and time zones You can also load an authenticated state and last but not least you have the option to record using custom setup. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and see you in the next video.